Hi guys, let's talk about another interview problem which is commonly asked in C++ developer interviews uh, at high frequency trading firms or maybe gaming companies or top tech companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft. I mean, all the top tech companies also have a lot of C++ code base like uh, Amazon Prime, some of the Amazon Prime code base is in C++, most of the Microsoft Windows code base is in C++, then in Google, a lot of Google Maps, Google Ads infrastructure code base is in C++, so like C++ is used at a lot of uh, big companies anyways so the question is simple that what you have to do is that you have to develop a functionality using which anyone can check how many objects of a particular class has been created okay or are active at the moment so let's take an example of this int main function so here we have created we have this class a and we have created three objects of this like this at line number 36 we have created it which is uh, constructed by a default constructor then we have created another object which is created via copy constructor and then we have another created another object via move constructor okay so like three objects have been created of this class a so if at line 40 i print the count of the objects which are active at the moment so it should print three then here at line 43 we are creating another object and if i print the objects count now at line 44 the output should be four objects because they are one two three and this four objects which are active then this block ends here at line number 46 so it means that this object will go out of scope and will get destroyed hence when we print at line num we print like the output of line number 47 should come out to be 3 because only these three objects are active now because this has been destroyed so uh, a very like what you we can do here is that since we need to keep track of the count of the object so we cannot have a uh, non-static data member in the class which can do that because non-static data members basically track any information at object scope rather than class scope i mean static data members are the ones which uh, which basically track information at class scope okay so what we do is simple we have this class a and we create a static data member of type int uh, which is counter okay and it's initialized to zero i mean this curly braces means that this is initialized to zero and in every constructor like whenever you create object of any class the constructor is the first method which is called okay so whenever any constructor is called we just increment this particular variable so in default constructor we are incrementing counter in copy constructor we are incrementing counter and this is the move constructor in which we are incrementing counter and whenever the object is destroyed like destructor is called so in destructor we are decrementing the counter okay and we have this method instance count which is a static method which will return the number of objects active at any moment okay so that's what I did that whenever I wanted to print the count of the objects which are active, I just call the static method of this instance count. So this is very simple. I mean, anyone can solve it. Any, even a beginner, even a guy who is a beginner in C++ and no little loops can solve it. Okay. So, and you can see the output is correct as well, like three, four, three. But the thing is that this particular solution has a problems. The problem is that, uh, this will cause a lot of repetition in your code let's say tomorrow someone comes and says that oh i want to track that this information for class b as well okay so now you are in problem because you have to repeat this particular code in class b as well basically this class b now have to have this static counter variable and in all of its constructors you have to increment this counter in all of its this in this in its destructor you have to decrement this counter and you have to expose this particular method using which anyone can query the number of objects active at any moment so this violates like a lot of uh, good programming best programming practices like uh, we are repeating ourselves like dry principle is violated here dry stands for do not repeat yourself apart from that this creates this is a maintenance nightmare as well because um, like any time basically whenever someone is trying to you know uh, build a new class he has to take care of putting the code in all these constructor i mean if uh, mistakenly he or she misses to put the incrementing or decrementing counter code then uh, the, basically this functionality will not work correctly okay so basically uh, this solution also violates you can say the principle of open for extension and close for modification but anyways uh, so what could be a good solution for this so a good solution for this can be that what we can do we can put all of this functionality in a base class okay and anyone who wants any client code who wants this functionality that to keep that tra keep track of number of objects alive at any moment he they can inherit from our base class and they will get all the functionality so with that solution no one has to repeat any code like whenever someone is you know creating a new class b so he has 
to not write all this functionality in class b again all he has to do is basically inherit from our base class okay now we cannot have a simple base class uh, we need a templated base class so basically this particular problem can be solved using CRTP the curiously recurring template pattern so in case you do not know what CRTP is I had already made a video on that please check that out okay but the thing is that if you do not know CRTP then maybe you probably won't understand this solution but anyways let's see how we can solve it using CRTP so this is our object counter which is the base class which will give that functionality of tracking count of uh, the number of objects alive at any moment so this is a templated base class and the template parameter is the derived class itself and all the code is which was here is in this base class like we have this static int counter and in the default constructor copy constructor and move constructor of base class we are incrementing this counter and in the destructor we are decrementing this counter okay and we have this method which is a static method instance count which will return the count so let's say this class a wants this functionality so all class a has to do it will publicly inherit from object counter and uh, since this is a template class so the template parameter will be class a itself that is derived class itself which is the principle of crtp okay and now a class will have all these functionalities like if i run this code i have copied exactly the same code into main as well and you can see we get the same output 343 okay now let's say someone wants to needs this functionality in class b so all he has to do now is just inherit from our object counter class and pass it the template parameter as class b and bam he is done okay he do not have to repeat that code of keeping track of basically all that functionality of instance counter and you can see if i run this this particular will work like we'll get the correct output so the output we should get is here we should have one because only one object of b is created then we create another object so here the output should be two then in this scope we are connecting creating another object so here the output should be three and then this scope ends here at line 76 so this particular object will be destroyed because it has gone out of scope and here we should get back the output of two so output should be one two three two and you see the, the output is same one two three two so you can see like how crtp has simplified a lot of things for us okay like it basically the major advantage is that it does not lead to any code repetition okay and chances of errors are also minimized because all the functionality is in this base class only we have written the functionality of keeping the counter object count only once and we have all the benefits okay so yeah let's see another thing which I think that was mostly it for this particular video uh, yeah I think that's mostly it so I hope you guys like this video please do not forget to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you all next time